this going here. This morning, we're going to talk about angles of triangles. Um, so this is lesson 4.2. Uh, yesterday, we talked about how to classify triangles by their sides and by their angles. Today, we're going to talk about the uh, triangle angle sum theorem, which you probably already know. And then we're also then going to talk about the exterior angle theorem. So two, two theorems that we can apply to triangles. Uh, so let's start with the triangle angle sum theorem. Uh, this is probably, again, something that you've seen before. Uh, basically, what it says is it says if we've got uh, our three angles in the triangle, the sum of the three angles is always going to be 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C will equal 180. On this next slide, and you really don't need to write anything down on this next slide. Uh, this is just kind of a little proof that kind of uh, proves to us why uh, we can say that all three of the angles in the triangle add up to 180. So hopefully you notice in this picture that 4, 2, and 5 all make a straight line. So that's 180 degrees. Uh, you know, we just got done doing parallel lines. And if you think about this for just a second, angles one and four, these are alternate interior angles. If you're looking at these two lines here being parallel. So one and four are the same. Alternate interior angles are congruent because the lines are parallel. And also three and five, they're also alternate interior. So they are congruent. So if you think about it, then if 4, 2, and 5 all add up to 180, then we know that 1, 2, and 3 have to add up to 180. So again, I just wanted to put this little uh, proof on here in picture just to kind of show you kind of the thought process of how we could to prove that. That's not something you'll have to be able to do on the test. But again, just kind of some uh, theory there to, to show you that. Okay, let's look at an example. So here we have a picture. Uh, the picture says that um, angle D is 38 degrees, E is 67, and B is 48. They want us to find the measure of angle 3. So if we know two of the angles in a triangle, obviously we can find the third by adding them together and subtracting from 180. So in this particular problem, um, can somebody tell us what the measure of angle one would be? Okay, so I've got a few people that have typed in that it, angle one would be 75, and that's correct. So if I take 38 plus 67 and add those together, I'm going to get 105. So to get angle 1, I'm going to take 180 minus 105 to get 75. So I can say that the, this angle 1 is 75 degrees. Now from some things we've talked about before, we know that 1 and 2 are vertical angles. So if 1 and 2 are vertical angles, I can say that angle 2 is also 75 and I can go through that same process right now to find angle 3. So if I add 75 and 48, that gives me, looks like 123. Well, to find angle 3, I'm going to take 180 minus that 123, and that's going to give me Looks like 57. So our best choice on this one would be letter C. So just utilizing that, that theorem that all three of the angles add up to 180, that, hopefully that's uh, pretty simple and, and something that you've seen before. Okay, our other theorem 
that we're going to look at this morning is called the exterior angle theorem. And here's what the exterior angle theorem says. It says the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. Now, it is important for us to understand what remote interior means in these problems. So you'll notice in this picture, any exterior angle would be taking one of the lines of the triangle and just extending it outside the triangle. So you'll notice angle one, we consider that to be the exterior angle. The remote angles or remote interior angles are going to be the two angles within the triangle that are kind of furthest away from that exterior angle. So in this case, B and A would be our remote interior angles. So again, what this theorem is saying is it's saying angle A plus angle B will always add up to this exterior angle. And that should make sense because we know that all three angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. And think about this as a straight line. One and this angle are both supplementary. And this angle is supplementary to these two. So um, you think about uh, that in terms of the measurements. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So this is kind of a gardening example. It says find the measure of angle FLW, which FLW is this angle right here, in the fenced flower garden shown. So I know this is X, this is 32, this is my exterior. So these are my two remote interior angles. So I'm going to say X plus 32 is equal to my remote exterior angle, which is 2x minus 48. This is going to allow me then to solve for x. So if I subtract x from each side, I get 32 equals x minus 48. And if I then add 48 to both sides, I know that's probably hard to see a little bit there with the dark colored paper. But if I had 32 and 48, I'm going to get x equals, looks like to me, 80. Now they're not wanting to know what x is, they want to know what angle FLW is. So we're going to substitute 80 in right here for x. So if I do 2 times 80 minus 48, that's going to give me that angle. Well, 2 times 80 is 160 minus 48. And 160 minus 48 would be 100 and 12. So FLW would be 112 degrees. Um, they are asking for the measure of angle ACD. So all I have to do then is put 40 back in to the 3x plus 10. So 3 times 40 plus 10. Well, 3 times 40 is 120. And 120 plus 10 gives you 130. So 130 would be your answer for this one. Which a lot of you selected that on the chat. Had a few of you that didn't respond. So if you didn't respond, maybe you're having some issues. Anybody have any questions with that one? That process using the exterior angle theorem?